Assalamu alaikum. Hi friends. How is everyone doing today? Today we are going to be making chicken and cheese enchiladas. It's a Mexican dish. It's very easy to make it. It's not too much stuff goes in there. Just few things. So let's go see how to marinate the chicken first. Okay friends. First to make the chicken enchiladas, we have to marinate the chicken. So we are first we are going to marinate the chicken. I have two breast chicken breast boneless. Uh, I'm going to marinate that with the spices is I have some salt over here and some paprika and some red pepper and uh, some cumin powder and some oregano and some uh, garlic powder that's all we needed so we're going to mix all this stuff and we're going to rub it on the chicken Like that nicely mix it everything so we are gonna sprinkle all this on it generously Okay, so we're just gonna marinate all the chicken with the spices. So uh, we're gonna leave it for 10 minutes to get marinated. Chicken will get marinated with the spices. So then we're gonna go ahead and cook the chicken. Then I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff in a minute. Okay, it's nicely coated all the spices, the chicken. So we're gonna leave the chicken over here. Okay, we're gonna talk about the sauce. Okay friends, to make a sauce, I have some tomato sauce over here, one cup. If you don't have it, you can just crush the tomatoes. Just take the skin off and just crush the tomatoes. And uh, we have uh, three teaspoons full of um, all-purpose flour, maida, to make a sauce. And also we are gonna make roux with that. And also we have some spices, dry spices over here. Half a spoon black pepper, one spoon keyboard powder, one spoon red pepper, uh, one and a half spoon paprika, a little bit of salt to taste, and some garlic powder, and some uh, oregano. Half, half a spoon is oregano. Okay, let's go start making uh, chicken first, then we are gonna go ahead and make the sauce. Okay, also we got um, some uh, corn tortillas. This is a white corn tortillas. You can even use all-purpose flour tortillas, my other uh, white flour tortillas. Uh, but my son is allergic to gluten, so I'm using corn tortillas. Okay, let's go first make the chicken. Okay, friends, we are cooking chicken. My pan is hot. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there. And then we're gonna add all this chicken in there. You can cook chicken like this or maybe you can just boil the chicken and shred the chicken. That's also you can use it. Or maybe you can just buy the rotisserie chicken from any stores and you can shred that chicken and also you can use it. If you have some leftover chicken, uh, when you buy that rotisserie chicken, you can even use that. You don't have to cook chicken if you have the chicken already, okay? And also sauce, they sell it in the store. Uh, but uh, I don't know what what they have in there, what additives they have in there, what they add it in there, what chemicals. 
so we do not want to use that kind of sauce if you do not want to make a sauce you can use the sauce but uh, I rather like to make my own sauce it's easy it's very simple and uh, it's fresh so okay we are gonna cook a uh, chicken one side for five minutes now the side is five minutes so okay our chicken is cooking one side for five minutes we're gonna turn this chicken the other side Let's see. Oh, wow, look at the beautiful color. See? Nice spicy chicken. Very nice. I'm going to cook 5 minutes this side and then I'm going to cover it mm -hmm. and cook for another 5 minutes. Okay? Okay, our chicken is cooking the other side also for 5 minutes. Then I'm going to cover it and cook for a few more minutes. It's maybe 5 more minutes. Reduce the heat a little bit. We have to cook the chicken completely inside, so we do not want any raw chicken. So we're just gonna be covering and cooking for a few more minutes. Okay, guys, our chicken has been cooking for five more minutes after I cover it. So we're gonna turn the stove off. I think it's completely done. Hmm. It's so yummy. I can check and see if it's done inside. If it's not raw inside, you can cut it. A little bit. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and shred the chicken once it gets cooled down. It's hot right now. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit. Then we're gonna shred the chicken. Okay friends, I shredded the whole chicken. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce, okay? Let's go see how to make the sauce. Okay friends, let's go ahead and make enchilada sauce. You can buy from the store if you want, if you don't want to make it. But it's better, I think, if you can make it. It's very easy to make it. I added like a two spoons of oil in there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. One spoon of butter. Okay guys, we'll be making first roux. I put one spoon of oil, one spoon of butter. Then I'm gonna put this flour in there, three tablespoons. And we're gonna fry it until it gets very nice fragrance and it gets brown color. Like a roux. Okay. Put it on a slow flame. Make it like a like a light brown. This is still white, so we're gonna make it until it gets light golden brown. <laughs> okay, friends. First, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, and please and press that bell icon so you'll get the notification as soon as I upload the video, so you can watch my videos non-stop if you like my video please click like too <laughs> write me a comment if you want to learn something else any new dishes or something just ask me I'll make it for you okay see that it's changing the color I don't know if you can see see it's becoming it like light brown see we do not want to burn it so that's gonna be enough so we're going to add all these spices. Okay, we're going to add all the spices. I have paprika, I have a red pepper, cumin powder, black pepper, garlic powder, salt and oregano. I already gave you the ingredients but still if you forgot something, you can have it again. Okay. Ooh. We are not gonna make it too. Ooh, we're not gonna fry it for too long. Ooh, stop stick smelling already. Hot. We do not wanna burn the spices, so we're gonna put tomatoes. We're gonna add this tomato sauce. If you don't have a tomato sauce, just take like a three or four tomatoes and crush them or grind them and make a sauce. That's why I did it. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, we're just gonna try to break all the lumps if any have because we have the flour in there. We do not want the flour to be getting thick and making lumps in there. So I don't see any lumps. So now we are gonna add two cups of uh, chicken broth. Okay, I just boiled the chicken broth. You can just boil a couple of one of the uh, chicken leg and make it the chicken broth. And if you, you can put a little bit of salt and pepper, salt and black pepper if you want. Otherwise, it's gonna be enough in there. I reduce the flame in the beginning, and because uh, I do not want the flour to get lumpy, lumpy flour. We do not want the flour to make lumps in there. Okay, friends, our sauce is done. It's nice and thick. We do not want more thicker than this. Okay guys, we put the uh, shredded chicken over here now. We are going to add some sauce, what we just made. This will like a few spoons. So it will give the more flavor to our chicken. We already have the spices in there. See, looks nice. Okay friends, um, our chicken is cooking with the sauce for almost five minutes. It's all chicken soak all the sauce so I'm gonna turn the stove off this will work. now we're gonna add some cheese it's depend upon you how much cheese you like it okay I'm just gonna add a little bit because we're gonna put some on the topping too so and that's it that's all I'm putting it in there no it's will okay we're just gonna mix it Oh, look at that, looks so yummy. Sticky, sticky. Cheesy, cheesy. Cheesy, gooby. Okay. Now we are gonna go ahead and assemble and arrange in the baking tray and we'll bake it. I have a casserole dish over here. Okay, let's see. I have a spoon over here. Let's go over there and start arranging this. Okay guys, I have a casserole dish over here. Smell aromatic. I'm gonna add this sauce in the bottom. Some of the sauce. Put some sauce in the bottom. Okay. Okay. Uh, we take one corn tortilla in here and put some of the chicken mixture in there. Some chicken in there as much as you want it generously and then you just fold it like this and from like this you know how you're making a wrap and then put it upside down like other way around okay the seam part has to go down and the solid part has to come up there okay that's why we're gonna do all the rest of them Okay guys, I rolled all the tortillas. Now we're gonna put some more sauce from the top of it. Okay, now we are going to put cheese as much as you want. If you like a lot of cheese, you can put a lot of cheese. If you don't like a lot of cheese, don't put it too much cheese. But it tastes good with the cheese. <laughs> cheesy, cheesy. Okay, now this is gonna go in the oven to bake 350 degrees for 25 minutes, okay? Okay, see you on after 25 minutes. Okay guys, I put the uh, big tray, casserole tray in the oven and then I have a lot of people in a lot of different countries, they don't have oven. So I'm just showing it to them how can they can cook 
on the top of the stove the same way you can do that and start the stove and cook until the cheese melts you know you can cover it and cook until the cheese melts okay I'm gonna cover this and cook until the cheese melts and it will be done in probably in 15 minutes okay I'll come back and show you both of them okay friends our enchiladas are ready so I'm gonna show you how to serve them these are also ready I made it in the pan Elixir me too so if you don't have the oven you can make it in the pan no problem and uh, we're gonna put some onion tops green onions Bismillah. Okay friends, let me serve and show you how it looks. Mm, yummy. Bismillah. Looks so yummy, yummy. And, uh, and I made some Spanish rice to go with it. If anybody wants the recipe, ask for it. I'll give you the recipe. Okay? This is Spanish rice. This is the Spanish rice. I made some Spanish rice. So we're going to serve with the Spanish rice. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And you can serve a little bit of salsa on the side if you want more spicy. Looks so yummy. Here we go. Voila. Okay, I hope you like my video. Uh, if you like it, please click like uh, and write a comment and try to make it and let me know how it is. Okay. Bye. See you next video.